Hey, Overcomers, I'm Dara Marie. I'm your favorite mindset teacher, and this is Be an Overcomer, where you are inspired and empowered to walk by faith and use the gift of imagination to create the life you desire. So Overcomers, today's message is breaking free from limitations. Now, we live in a world that appears to be finite, and, and in some senses it is. But the God that we serve is infinite. And because you are made in his image, you are created to live a limitless life. That means there aren't any limitations. The key is you have to see your vision in your mind. You have to believe that it is possible for you, right? We know the Bible says all things are possible to those that believe. So the key is your faith. It's your faith. Even in the Bible, Jesus said to the woman that had the issue of blood, the woman that was dealing with an infirmity, and it said she was dealing with it for 12 years. I don't know why God is bringing this back to my remembrance. She was dealing with the sickness. And she said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I know I will be made whole. If I could just come into contact with Jesus, I will be made whole. And he said to her, daughter, your faith has made you well. It is your faith that is going to bring the miraculous in your life. It is your faith that is going to open unseen doors for you, okay? It is your faith that is going to help you override the circumstances of life. Your faith, okay? Faith is the key to everything. It unlocks many doors. It's a higher realm. It's the realm of miracles. It's the realm that God operates in. It is your faith, right? The Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So overcomers, I wanna encourage you to break free from limitations, no matter what that is. You know what may appear to be a limitation in your life. You know what may appear to be um, maybe a source of stress or maybe it might be causing you some anxiety or something like that. You know what that is. But I wanna encourage you to believe that all things are possible for you. You just have to tap into your faith. And this is why every day I tell you, we have two choices. Whether we are going to move in faith and walk by faith, or are we going to go in the direction of fear? And I get it, there's a lot of things in this outside world. There are a lot of things that are happening in the world that may cause you to be filled with fear. But you must tap into your God-given gift of creating your life and understanding that you are a conscious creator, that you could have what you say. The Bible says that you will have what you say. So our job is to continually say, and think about the things that we want to have and experience in our lives, okay? So overcomers, I wanna read to you from my latest book, Faith and Imagination, Keys to Effortless Living. This book, it's available on my website at daramarieproductions.com as well as Amazon. And I wanna read to you on this section about limitations since today's topic is breaking free from limitations. Please understand, when we live only by this finite realm, this realm of limitations, we do not truly tap into our potential. Always remember this natural realm is a realm of limitations, while the supernatural realm is a faith realm, is the realm of possibilities. We serve a supernatural God. When God's super gets on your natural, there's nothing you cannot do. I believe when we live only by this dimension and allow other people's opinions to dictate what we believe, we end up second guessing, doubting ourselves and turning down what God has placed inside of us. This is the time to turn up and turn out on the things God has given you. Do not try to stay in a safe space. God is always calling us to higher dimensions in him. I encourage you to step out into the things of God. We are limitless when we know who we are. We are the expression of God in physical form. That is why the word says we are made in his image, according to Genesis 1 and 27. We were put here on earth to experience life how we want to. 
Think the highest thoughts and dream the grandest dreams. I truly believe as we trust God and stay in faith, he will give us the desires of our heart. Psalm 37 and 4. As believers, we need to be more spirit led. When we walk by faith and are led by the spirit, miracles, signs, and wonders become evident in our lives. The Bible says miracles, signs, and wonders follow those that believe. Okay, like I would be here all day if I told you the miraculous things that God has done in my life and other people's lives. And it's such a to a it's so to a point for me that I believe so strongly in faith and using the gift of imagination to create my desired life and other people's lives that like when people start to share a situation or a problem or a circumstance, I already start visualizing the best for them. If they're telling me about a sickness, I already start envisioning them healed. If it's like a relational, uh, you know, relationship problem or people problem or people issue, I start envisioning the best case scenario. Why? Because all things work together for our good. The Bible says, if you love God, all things are working together for your good. So everything that appears to be a circumstance or a situation or a problem in this finite natural realm in the realm of the spirit in the realm of god there are no problems god can work and turn around any situation in your favor but your job is to just believe that's how you break free from the limitations of this life you need to keep believing you need to keep moving in faith no matter what it looks like no matter what it looks like in the outside world, no matter what it looks like to your neighbor, to the person next to you, to whoever it might be that doesn't believe, okay? It's your faith. The Bible says even if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, like that's tiny faith, things can be activated and shifted in your favor. So I wanna encourage you today to move forward in faith, break free from limitations and experience the best outcomes for your life, okay? Also, I want to encourage you to also to stick to your vision. And that's how you break free from the limitations that no matter what is happening in the outside world, that you're going to stay true to your vision. You're going to stay too, true to that, gr that dream. I'm sorry, to that dream that God has placed in your heart, because that dream was not given to you by accident. We serve a purposeful God. There are no accidents. There are no coincidences. All right. So it's in your favor, even if it looks like sometimes things may not be in your favor, you start to speak that all things are working together for your good because it is. And I want to encourage you to envision the best, envision the highest, envision the grandest, whatever it is for your life. I want to encourage you to move forward confidently and with boldness and with strong faith towards that thing. I also want to read to you from this book. A happy pocket full of money and like I I'm always going to share um, various books and sources with you because one I love books two I love things on personal development and growth because the more you grow in your mind and elevate elevate in your mind okay the more your life will elevate okay because everything is following you it's following your thoughts it's following your beliefs so in this section, it talks about vision. Simply hold your vision high. Think, speak, and do by your vision. And automatically, coincidentally, it will all work out. Do not resist whatever happens along the way, for it is only nature's incalculable way working to bring you what you envisioned. Just hold your end of the bargain by keeping your vision high and steadfast and think, speak, and act according to your vision. You need to hold your vision high. Be steadfast, meaning be immovable. Don't be shaken and rattled by the things in this world. You hold to that vision. And think, speak, and act according to your vision. And basically, Neville Goddard says that, like, whatever you assume to be true will be true for you. Your only job is to assume that it is true assume that that vision has manifested assume that that dream that vision that goal has come to pass that you have it now and in a way that you don't know 
it will unfold. Okay, that's what faith is. We just have to believe. It's God's job, I believe, to bring those things to us. It's not like we don't have to figure out every like minute detail of how this thing is going to unfold. You need to move by faith. And I do believe God gives you like, he'll give you clues. He'll give you hints along the way. You'll get inspired like ideas and then be led to take inspired action towards that thing. But you're not supposed to be rattled and shaken by everything that's happening in this outside world. Okay? You're supposed to walk by faith and not by sight. Okay? So overcomers, I pray this encouraged you. I pray this blessed you today. Thank you for being here. If you like this message, please share it. Please join the channel. I love this community so much. I appreciate you all taking time out of your day. Always be an overcomer.